Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, there's a lot of times that you're looking at a car online and you see it and you go, man, I wish I could get the video. So that means if you're here by now, you probably saw the pictures and the description of the car and you're saying, I just need that one little piece left to help me purchase and get this car in my life. So uh, hopefully by the time you see this, you have made that decision already. Otherwise, somebody else has already done it and we'll have to find you the next one that comes in. But one of the things I like to talk about is when you look at a car, you go, wow, that's a great looking car, but you never really think about why is it a great looking car? What are the things that make that car great? Well, one of the things that make this car great is the black paint of it. And the black paint we just had done, and I want to tell you something this. It is so fresh that you can, you can actually still smell how fresh it is, and that's going to be cool. But the most important part is the quality of the paint. And everybody can paint a car, right? Even you can paint a car. Even I can paint a car. I've never even held a paint gun and I can paint a car. It's all about the prep underneath. No different than a wall at home. If you mud up a wall at home and you don't sand it right and do whatever, you can put the greatest paint, the most expensive paint in the world on top of it, it's still going to be lumpy. That's how these cars right here become great looking cars with good door gaps, nice deep black paint because the prep of the car is done really well and you start out with a great car too and that makes a big difference. Alright, come on up here and let's look at the quality of this paint. So don't look at this sticker here. Look at this sticker inside the paint here. Can you read every letter crystal clear? Yes, you can. And that's what you want to be doing. You want to be making sure that you can get that kind of view uh, out of a sticker. Maybe not a sticker, a watch, whatever it is that you need to look at. But it needs to be crystal clear because uh, uh, today's modern car will never be that clear. Matter of fact, take your newspaper and go take it out to your car right now and you'll see. You can't really read it that well. This car right here, uh, because it's been wet sanded, buffed, and has a nice uh, coat of wax on it, it looks really good. And the reason I'm getting that is, this is a car that you're going to want to take out to dinner, man. You want to pull it up front and the valet is going to pull it and put it inside here and push the Porsche around the corner. Don't go in the restaurant. We're going to stand outside. Nobody's going to know that it's your car. And you're going to uh, listen to the people when they come out and people go, wow, that is a great looking car. And you know what? All the comments too. Oh, I had a friend that had one of those. Or I got to ride in one. Or I never could buy one. Or I owned one back in the day. I had to sell it. Well, you know what? We all had to go through that. And now's your chance to finally get back in the game and have some fun in your life with a piece of uh, American history, all right? But let's walk around the car and talk about styling. So for instance, like most people say, uh, this has a Coke bottle shape, but the, believe it or not, the designers, uh, there's a great book on this, the designers actually modeled it after a woman. Because a woman's body looks like this, and this is kind of like the lumps and humps of a beautiful woman, and I think it, it's integrated really well in here. So as you look around, it's got a great front end, right? correct rally wheels and tires. Buried inside there are disc brakes in here. A four wheel fully independent suspension is in there as well and a great looking interior. But as we walk around, let's keep going this way. So I love these uh, pieces right here. And these were just painted. So they're supposed to have the chrome uh, piece right there, I believe, the, the tips on the, on the uh, vents. We'll get that done as well. Uh, and we'll come around here. So new chrome and stainless and the emblem. Uh, I just love this and regardless, if this emblem wasn't even here, everyone would know what this car is. It's, it's absolutely recognizable, and that just confirms it. So as I look for the restoration quality of a car, I say, okay, it has great chrome, it has great stainless and things like that. Little stuff for me says, hey, this is really a nicely restored car. And for instance, like the tag light works. You say, well, the tag light works, who, what's the big deal about that? That's a $5 bulb. You're right, it is a $5 bulb, but somebody went to the extra effort to make sure all the wiring and everything worked well and finished that part up, all right? Now let's take a peek underneath here. And look how nice it is underneath there. You'll be proud to go down the road with somebody behind you, go to a car show. You feel really good about uh, owning something like this because it looks great too. But where I'm getting at this is, cars drive well because the underneath of the car is done well. Cars don't drive well because the top is shiny. The suspension in this car has been rebuilt. Uh, the brakes have been rebuilt. Uh, the brake lines have been done. You know, all those little stuff like that uh, makes for a great steering and stopping car, all right? Anyway, we talked a lot about the outside of the car, the underneath, but how about we take a peek under the hood so you can see uh, where all that rumble comes from, all right? All right, so come on up here for a second and let's look at some of the details in here. So this is a pretty fresh uh, restoration. We're also kind of finishing up the details of it too. So for instance, like we do have the wrong air cleaner. Uh, actually, we have the wrong air cleaner element in here, not so much the wrong air cleaner. The wrong element's supposed to be much taller. Uh, this is what we had and so you'll get a new one. But one of the things I did want to show you is little stuff like this. This is kind of some of the things you should be looking for. Do you see how all this is new? The steering box has re been rebuilt, all right? The engine compartment is detailed properly. Down in here you can see the color-coded uh, vacuum lines as well. 
that's an indication of a car that's been restored recently. It's not greasy and old looking. Those vacuum lines are very important because they decide how the headlights move up and down, how this wiper door opens, all right? And those things uh, seem to all be in place and they definitely work like they're supposed to. All right, so one of the things I really love so much about these things is they're all season cars. I expect you to drive it in December and January and February. It has a, a great heating system. It has a wonderful convertible top that's super easy to get to. And I love the fact that this top is tan and not black because it makes for a completely different look when it's up. So this is a completely different car once you get on the road and decide to put the top up. And you might be heading out someplace a two or three hour drive and maybe you don't want the top down the whole way. You can go ahead and put the top up. Still got some fresh air. You can wheel on down and put the top uh, down when you get closer. Or if you're headed out with the wife and maybe she doesn't want to, uh, maybe it's the wife that owns the car and her man doesn't want to get his hair messed up. Maybe he rides over here and, uh, and handles it that way. But anyway, it's so easy to put down. Three handles there, and the last part is when you seal it up, look how nice that fits. All right, so come on in here and let's look at some of the details where you're gonna spend most of your time. One great thing about the interior of this car is the way you sit in it. It's kind of, I feel like they built it around somebody, they put somebody in a car, and then they built the car around the person. Like my arm just fits perfectly to hold the wheel here. But here's a couple of nice upgrades to the car. It has tilt steering, okay? Also has telescopic steering, all right? And some of the standard features, meaning 160 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tack, right? And full gauges. The gauges are nice here because you have everything, man. Fuel, water temperature, oil, and battery. Kind of the only non-stock thing in the car is this upgraded Corvette radio. We could put a stock radio in there if you want, but it looks pretty cool the way it fits in there. It's not all cut out of the dash, and it's also Good for, uh, you know, you want to run your tunes out of your Android device or your iPhone uh, and allows you to do all of that too. You can hook up a CD player, uh, what have you. But this is nice here because it just everything works like it's supposed to. So anyway, just a cool, great interior. And on top of it, uh, when you get in and you get out, listen. It's a nice, solid feeling car. And this is an original coded uh, saddle interior, code 417, and would have come from the factory with this in it. We had the mats made for the car. Hope you like them. They're not totally stock, but uh, I think they came out pretty nice. All right, so let's close up this video. Listen, uh, by 71, the horsepower callout was different. It was just the way it was rated. It was really only down five horsepower. This engine's been rebuilt. I think it has more horsepower than it had in stock. And these cars are not very heavy. This car goes down the road fast. The four speed makes it sound really nice. The exhaust system sounds spectacular. The black paint, there's so many things that make a car collectible. Things like really nice paint. The options that we looked inside here. Matching numbers, this has the matching numbers 350 in it, which is really nice. And the fact that, you know, 40 or 50 years later, the original engine's still in the car. So I just think that kind of stuff is really cool, especially in a day and age where so many of them are not. So if you can find a way to get a really cool Corvette in your life, call us 301. 816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.